What's good, YouTube? Now, this video is the fucking part two for part one of this fucking van 08. Um, what the fuck is it? Chrysler Town and Country. This one, I'm putting a new caliper on. And the reason I'm replacing this is because it gave me like a well lock up pretty much. The, it just wouldn't. It was fucking up pretty much. And I'm replacing it. Well, it's locking up. Not only am I replacing this, I'm replacing the, uh, this fucking brake hose right here. So when you're doing jobs like this, what the fuck, man? Philly, every time I turn around, ambulance, dirt bike, shop noise, everything. What the fuck? So make sure you get a fucking brake hose, brake fluid. Most important when you're doing a job like this. Now you could replace the fucking collar without doing the fucking brake hose. I'm replacing the brake hose because sometimes the brake hose internal inside of it, it causes like a blockage or something like that, or it's just the hose collapse, whole other bunch of other symptoms. Somebody house is on fire, you can hear it. Um, so when you're doing a job like this, this is it's real quick, it's not hard, it's fucking no brainer. It could be a no brainer. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna clamp off this fucking, um, the brake hose. And the reason why I'm clamping this off because I wanna block fluid on one side and keep it there while there's gonna be, when I release the, uh, the banjo bolt, when I release it, I think it's called a banjo bolt, but the bolt for the fucking caliper, whatever. When you, re uh, for the brake hose, when you remove that hose, this one right here, Sean, air will get into it. But if you take a fucking, they have plastic ones, or I'm using this, but make sure you got something to cushion in between because the teeth will rip this fucking hose. I'm replacing the hose, so I really don't even fucking care anyway. So make sure you get it up in there, and all I'm doing is blocking fluid on one side so that way air won't get past the other side. And this will help me, you know, in ways that I don't have to leave all four fucking brake calipers so I can just do the one and get away with it. Now, sometimes this work don't work, and you have to do all four calipers. So clamp it off got that clamped off now next i'm gonna grab a 15 hopefully you got one over here now before we um take the line off make sure you get like a catch can you want to have it all over, all over the fucking street and driveway what's up dude but i'm gonna grab a hot Righty tighty, let the loose see. Uh oh. Crack the three. Take it off all the way. Now, there are two washers one right here and one on the other side. You cannot fucking do this job without both of them, or you'll fucking have mad, have mad air in the system. You have no fucking brakes at all. You probably fucking kill yourself. So, that's real crucial. Pay attention. So, get this shit out of here. Now, when I. Getting it? Sometimes you can do it by hand, sometimes you gotta grab a wrench. Sometimes these fucking new um, calipers, they don't fucking come with them. So I found one was, where the fuck did it go? All right, we're gonna find both of them. Just give me a fucking, all right. So I wasn't able to find one of two fucking washers for the uh, brake hose that goes to the fucking caliper. But my um, brake hose kit comes with a set in there already. So now I did say that, you know, I'm blocking off air on one side. Now I'm gonna fucking expose the system. I was just showing y'all how, if you wanted to replace the caliper only, you can have it just like this. It's up to you. Um, I'm replacing the brake hose and the caliper. So I'm gonna have to expose the system. So now because of that, I'll have to bleed all four wheels now. But if you're only doing one, 
just cow for it, no brake holes. Keep it just like this. You only have to bleed one, one wheel, I mean one caliper. So, you want to remove this brake hose. The brake hose is held in by like this fucking shoe, horseshoe, clip tight bill. Um, you use a pair of needle nose pliers to get it off, but first make sure um, while that's just still in place, go ahead and take this nut off. Take that off. Now, once you get it locked into place, I'm not gonna put the hose on just yet. I'm gonna grab my fucking horseshoe set up. Oh man, I got fucking brake fluid everywhere. Um, take your shoe, I mean the uh, horseshoe clip, and just put it back in. Grab a hammer. Place. Should be locked down. Ain't going nowhere. Be careful not to hit your brake line. Or you will be learning how to fucking flare it. And tighten it back up. Let me get my fucking wrench. And going back on. Just re reverse your removal procedure. So y'all shouldn't have to see me fucking tighten this down. Sean, safe to kill the camera right now. So, brake hose is on. Make sure you got something catching your fucking fluid down there. Um, I ain't gonna let it drip too fucking long. I ain't gonna use the motherfucking brake fluid. So, got the new caliper. Now these, this one, I already got what the brake hose came with. A set of washers. This one has gave me one with a built-in one already on there. See, it doesn't move. It's like glued on there, so I don't have to worry about that. So now this is dummy proof. Pretty much dummy proof. What the fuck he said? So next, I'm going to.
fucking don't fucking overkill this shit, man. Or you just gonna cause catastrophic damage. And you don't want that. So we're gonna just we're gonna stop. Turn a little bit, like a quarter inch. Wait, a little bit more. That's it. Don't over fucking kill it because remember you got these fucking washers in there. They're not as strong as the fucking metal ones. They're not metal, but they just designed to not leak. So that's it. Look good. Now I'm gonna put everything that I took off back on rotor, caliper. Um, and once I get the fucking whole brake suspension, tire, all that good shit back on correctly, I'm gonna show you how to properly. System. Got my white girl over here <laughs> watching me. Just wanna film it. Alright, so next I got what we got? I got the caliper on. I got that set up right. Make sure it ain't leaking and shit. Make sure that's good. So next I'm bleeding the, the brakes. When you're bleeding brakes, um, we're gonna start from the left rear wheel. It's just the procedures, just always been that way, it's always been told to do it that way. So follow your fundamentals. See, whatever whatever he said so left rear wheel now there's a bleeder screw right here 11 millimeter wrench grab that or if you got special uh tools for the uh doing brakes and shit you can use that you want to crack it free make sure they come over free and then just tighten it back up again so make sure you got brake fluid in the fucking reservoir like make sure it's topped off at all times every time you fucking bleed a caliper make sure you got fucking brake fluid in it so i topped my shit off already Sean, what you're gonna do next is pump the brakes until it's, you get some type of pressure and let me know. Yeah. Hey, pump it. You'll kind of see the cop, the piston uh, moving in and out a little bit. You feel anything? Keep pumping. All right, so it's tight, right? Pump it a little bit more and then let me know and hold it and let me know. Alright, so he's got pressure. So he's holding it in with his foot, pressing all the way down to the floor like he's stopping. So while he's pushing down, I'm gonna release the pressure. And what that does is from the brake master cylinder, uh, I'm just it's just helping me push the air out of the system from out of the calipers. So you press him down, right? Let me know when it's to the floor. And you'll see like it's spitting out. If it's spitting out, then it's, it's air in the system. And then you should get like a nice steady stream with no air bubbles. So it's on the floor, right? All right, tighten it back up. Pump it up. And you want to do this like two to three times. Well, really, until you see no uh, air pockets. So go ahead. Check the master cylinder, make sure it got fluid in there, it's topped off. So yeah, pump the brake up and let me know when it's hard. It's hard. Alright, so. Alright, make sure you got a steady stream. And these back ones, it'll be less 
air and it'd be more so that fucking right front wheel probably be the, the left side but whatever doing the whole system so doing the floor right one more time Pump it up, let me know how I feel. Huh? You feel good? All right, I got two more to go. So, um, I got the back two led. Now I'm gonna go to the right front wheel. All right. So, I had a wrench. Got it right here. All right, get this off. My brake level was good. I checked that. Now, pump it up, Sean. Let me know when it's hard. Back ones are 11, and the fronts are 10. All right, so you holding? Hold on. I'm opening it, let me know when it's on the floor. See that air that, air that shot out right there? Uh-huh, that's what you wanna see. When you see that coming out, you know you're doing the job correctly. Yo, is it, uh, let me, is it on the floor? Pump it up, close the valve. Mm -hmm. I mean the bleeder screw, I said valve. Hold. Yep, mm hmm. Is it on the floor? Pump it up. Do this shit uh, one more time. Pump it up. And this one I should have like a steady stream. If I don't, then I ain't do it right. Yep, saw air. My my family just leave it one more time. Let me check my um, brake fluid level. All right, so that level was good. Go ahead, pump it up. Let me know when it's tight. All right. Let me know when it's on the floor. Yeah. On the floor? Yeah. All right, one more time, just cause. Pump it up. All right, that was steady. I'm gonna close it back up, so I'm done with this wheel. All right, cool. So I popped the brake fluid off again. Feels good on my last caliper. So, hey, yo, what the fuck, man? This one's a fucking eleven. We get a fucking eleven. All right, let's try this shit again. All right, pump it up, Sean. Let me know when it's hard. you to apply as much force as you can to the brake. I want to check to make sure I ain't got no leaks. You holding? And just, just check all around all the bleeder screws. Make sure 
It ain't leaking. Still holding? This is the side I did the um, the caliper and the uh, brake hose. So I'm gonna check my connection up in here, make sure that's good. That looks good and dry. Um, check this banjo bolt, whatever bolt. It's a banjo bolt. Um, make sure that's right down in there. If that looks good, you Gucci. Then, um, yeah, rotate the wall all the way to the right. want to check this bleeder screw because I can't see I know you guys can't see it so you holding all right so we ain't leaking so now um what I'm gonna do is uh I'm fucking pretty much done so clean up all your fucking brake fluid make sure every fucking brake caliber is fucking bone dry don't got fluid contaminated in the fucking brake hardware and shoes and pads and all of that shit and a rotor so that's fucking good so after that put your fucking wheels on and you fucking done so that's it y'all part two of fucking part one how to replace the right front caliber and fucking bleed the fucking brakes and shit so that's it i'm out of breath because i'm fucking hot i'm tired of talking so i'm out bye